Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on abdominal aortic aneurysm. An aneurysm is defined as an abnormal dilatation of a blood vessel, by more than 50% of its normal diameter. An abdominal aortic aneurysm is defined as a dilatation of the abdominal aorta, greater than 3 cm. This picture shows the abdominal aorta, colored in red. This AAA is an emergency condition, so immediate intervention is often required. Risk factors for AAA include smoking, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, family history, male gender, and increasing age. Many abdominal aortic aneurysms are asymptomatic, and are simply detected on incidental finding or screening. Symptomatic patients with a AAA can present with abdominal pain, back or loin pain, distal embolization producing limb ischemia, or aortoenteric fistula. On examination, a pulsatile mass can be felt in the abdomen, above the umbilical level. Sometimes, signs of retroperitoneal hemorrhage may be evident. The main differential diagnosis in patients who present symptomatically is renal colic, due to presence of back pain with no other symptoms present. Other abdominal pathologies such as diverticulitis, inflammatory bowel disease, irritable bowel syndrome, GI hemorrhage, appendicitis, ovarian torsion, ovarian rupture, or splenic infarctions may also be possible differentials. In the routine outpatient setting, any suspected AAA should be initially investigated by an ultrasound scan. Once an ultrasound scan has confirmed this diagnosis, a follow-up CT scan with contrast is needed when at threshold diameter of 5.5 cm. This provides more anatomical details in order to determine suitability for endovascular procedures. This picture is a CT scan showing the abdominal aortic aneurysm. For management, the indication for medical management is diameter of aneurysm less than 5.5 cm, where we can monitor it via duplex ultrasound, either yearly or three-monthly. Smoking cessation. Improve blood pressure control. Statin and aspirin therapy. Weight loss and increase exercise. Surgery should be considered for an aneurysm more than 5.5 cm in diameter, aneurysm expanding at more than 1 cm per year, or a symptomatic AAA in a patient who is otherwise fit. In unfit patients, the aneurysm may be left until 6 cm or more prior to repair, due to the significant risk of mortality from an elective repair. The main treatment options are open repair or endovascular repair. Open repair involves a midline laparotomy or long transverse incision, exposing the aorta, and clamping the aorta proximally and the iliac arteries distally, before the segment is then removed and replaced with a prosthetic graft. Whereas endovascular repair involves introducing a graft via the femoral arteries, and fixing the stent across the aneurysm. This picture shows endovascular repair of aneurysm. The main complication of AAA is rupture. Other less common complications are retroperitoneal leak, embolization, and aortoduodenal fistula. The risk of triple rupture increases exponentially with the diameter of the aneurysm. It can present with abdominal pain, back pain, syncope, or vomiting. On examination, they will typically be hemodynamically compromised, with a pulsatile abdominal mass and tenderness. This CT scan shows a ruptured AAA, rupturing into the retroperitoneal space. For cases of ruptured aneurysm, immediate management is needed. Give high-flow oxygen. Intravenous access to large bore cannula. Urgent bloods taken, including full blood count, urea and electrolytes, clotting, and blood cross match minimum 4 units. Treat shock carefully. The patient should be transferred to the local vascular unit, with the vascular registrar, consultant, anesthetist, theater, and blood transfusion lab informed. If the patient is unstable, they will require immediate transfer to theater for open surgical repair. If the patient is stable, they will require a CT angiogram to determine whether the aneurysm is suitable for endovascular repair. That's all for this video. Thank you.